morning and welcome in to Brew Geeks. I am Dr. Peeps, joined by Mike, the uh, the founder of Duff Brew Company. Oh, Duff Man. I'm what a Duff Man. <laughs> what we're gonna do here uh, tonight is just kind of a couple of quick questionnaires of stuff we like, stuff that you know helped us get involved with. Movies and all that, we're not going to really get all that in deep. We're just going to have some fun with it. I got the handy dandy notepad because without it, you know, we get questions. Okay. That's right. I don't got anything. So, man, we're just going to wing this thing. We're going to give you guys some information on what we got um, and where we uh, where we kind of got started. And that way you guys have a little bit better idea of the guys that you're getting to see in front of the camera. Yep, yep. Okay. So. Fire away, my man. Fire away. Mike, the inventor of Duff Beer, what is your <laughs> real name? My name is Michael King, and I did not in, invent Duff Beer. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could take claim on that. You know, you know they kind of got that going on in Springfield, and there actually is a Duff Brewing Company that uh, they brew that. Yeah, I heard that. Went to Universal Studios, and I had a Duff Beer, so if you guys ever have the shot, go to Universal Studios and check out their beer. It's pretty good. So what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is a uh, is Star Wars. As a whole, I'm a Star Wars fan. Um, I'm about to say Star Wars. I've always been a Star Wars fan since I grew up with. Like one movie, I, not, not 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 like a series. As a movie. whole, as a whole, one movie. You can't pick a series. I didn't ask you what's your favorite series. Uh, well, I mean, I take it all as one. I take it all okay. as one. But I mean, that, that's that man. I'm such a fan of numerous movies. And I really just can't pick one of them. Like I think the Star Wars as a whole is probably that. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, um, you know, Lord of the Rings. Like this. those are my kind of movies. Now you're ten point for bullshit answer. Uh, <laughs> what got you into movies? Just as a child, I had. Um, I remember my mother taking me to movies and things. We would go to the theater, and that was one of the things. I grew up in a, in a very poor family, and. Uh, and uh, and and that was one of our things of entertainment. You know, we didn't, we wasn't taking, we wasn't flying out and going ski trips and stuff. But my little thing that I got to do, my mom carried the movies, and plus just being at home um, and we watched tons of it, so it just kind of drew me in. Something I really enjoy in the stories. Um, even if you see me watch a movie, I focus on I focus on the movie. I hate when people talk during a movie, and that's that, that was really kind of what got me going. It was just. That, me in, that actually draws me into my next question. What is the first movie you remember seeing? Oh, the first movie I ever really remember going to the theater and seeing um, was it's either got to be Empire Strikes Back or Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I'm trying to figure out which one. It, I'm trying to remember I went to, and I know it's a different time period around a little bit different ones, but I remember going with my mother to see Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And that was something I really enjoyed. So it's kind of cool. You got a little bit of a human and a cartoon aspect. And who's a kid? You know, every, every kid loves cartoons. Yep. Uh, favorite genre of movie? Mm. It's all like sci fi. Yeah, sci fi, action, horror. I'm about to say, as a whole, horror. Okay. I can't go around, I can't go get away from my horror roots. I love horror movies. That's what I grew up on. That's something that just gets the, the, the juices going, man. Get, you, get, get the blood flowing, um, that adrenaline rush. Just you can't beat it. So I know you're king well enough to know, to lead into my next question. What is the first movie that you remember watching that scared you? <clears throat> I don't care if it's something can I even throw out? Can I throw out like a music video? That's, that would actually be the first thing that actually scared me. It was crazy. Okay, yeah. But, I mean, now, the, first, the, the, the movie that actually scared me the most as a child was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street was the big one. Uh, still to this day, man, Freddy Krueger is my is the ultimate guy that scares the hell out of me. Um, funniest thing, the, the, the one video that scared me to death was uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller. Mm -hmm. Nine Miles, whenever they come out. It's crazy. Okay, uh, next, uh, what is your favorite cartoon? We're not talking about like uh Oh, I already animal. know that. I okay, know that. yeah, okay. As a kid, everything, don't matter. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Good answer. What got you into craft beer? 
Uh, I used to, uh, they used to be a thing in Birmingham, they, before, you know, we had this, this thing where we could actually get craft beer. In this state, they, uh, they had this thing called Free the Hops, and it was, uh, it was a thing where you basically just pay a little bit of money and you go and, and they have big concerts and they have like 200 different craft beers. So I uh, went to a brew fest and just, man, for four hours, you just, all you can drink. All you can eat, all you can drink, and uh, so I started trying different craft beers, and it kind of opened me up to a lot of different things other than the beers that I was used to selling. I've been a bartender for many years, and we just sold the same stuff. But when you kind of get into something like that, you get to try more craft beers, get to open up your palate a lot more, and that's really what got me into it, just trying more things and just seeing what I liked and what I didn't like. What is your favorite? We've had this one a few times. It's kind of actually going to kind of spoil maybe uh, some upcoming beers that we're definitely going to do. Um, I want to say probably my favorite beer as a whole um, is Sweet Baby Jesus. Oh, yeah. Sweet Baby Jesus is a good beer. Eleven out of ten. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite comic book character. Favorite comic book character. I gotta say Batman. <clears throat> like Spider Man, Superman, and they run a close thing, but. Batman's stories are so great. The villains are great. It's deep. I love Batman. Okay, okay. Uh, favorite book? Oh, hell, Pete. <laughs> books? I don't read much books. I mean, I have to say, uh, probably Call of the Wild. I like that. Or uh, White Fang. Mm -hmm. real, real deep. I actually read White Fang. Don't know what a test on White Fang. And it was a, a, good, a great movie. And it was a great book too. The, the book was really had a lot of detail, so I enjoyed that. Who is your favorite actor? Favorite actor, man, that's tough. That's a real tough one. I've got a lot of different actors that I really like. Uh, <clears throat> I would say Robert De Niro, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm gonna go. If it's a villain, I won't. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Denzel Washington. I like that came out of left field. I like Den I like Denzel Washington. Um, he's a, to me he's just a great actor. And as far as like villains, John Travolta. You ain't gonna beat John Travolta as a villain. Ooh. You just you are not gonna beat him because he just plays that crazy so well. Yeah, he just throw out a dude out there. He just shoot, like there's no negotiation. Just shoot you. It's done. Like there's no you know a lot of movies they drag it out. There's a negotiation. They hold the gun to your head and talk to you. He's just not that like swordfish. Great movie, played such a great villain, uh, and I like watching Denzel Washington play. Um, he can play either. He, and both of those guys can play either. They proved it, and you know Denzel uh, uh, Travolta done it in Face Off, and and he done a great job. So uh, having both good guy and bad guy through the through different points of the movie, they can they can and they, and they play a good role um, on on both of those. So they're probably de they're definitely my favorite. Actors, but I, I don't know. I don't know how. I would probably say Denzel Washington because he can probably do just about anything. Mm -hmm. You thought I was going to say The Rock, didn't you? The, the movie horror no. of, of Hollywood. Uh, He'll take any role. I mean, he, he's got what? He's probably had 250 movies at this point. Okay, that's my final question for you. Favorite TV show of all time, not including animated, since we already covered that one. Favorite TV show of all time. Uh, favorite TV show of all time is Sons of Anarchy. I love it. it you know that that show was you know a great drama. Um, I, I wish that maybe Kirk Sutter would have expanded it, <clears throat> done a lot more with it. Um, you know I know the Mayans is, is, is a popular show. We've done actually some reviews on before um, with that, and, and and I enjoy the good the story that he writes and the story that that that, that universe kind of brings out, um, and it can. One keep going. Worst. It can kind of keep going. One mm -hmm. of the worst things he was ever in. Not Sons of Anarchy, though. Yeah, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Nah, that lady didn't write exactly where it was supposed to be. No. That was where it was supposed to be. No. So many, so many shows, it's not like, uh, what's that one? There's so many shows, like Game of Thrones. Uh, oh, God. I didn't even watch it, but I watched everybody just go and like, lose their minds over that. Uh, I'd rather go shoot up heroin, JK, but it... Uh, one thing I can't, I am not a fan of, is any CSI or NYPD. Like, look, it just, it just, it, it, what law and order? It just glorifies lawyers and cops to be douchebags, and they, and they always look seem so clueless. 
the entire show, and by the end of the show, they act like a genius. Oh, I thought I knew it all along. You're like, yeah, no, nah, hell, you did not watch the whole show. None of you knew anything. And these CSIs, they're dressed like in silk shirts trying to do damn forensics. How the hell are you going to cut open a body and you wearing a silk shirt and it looks like neon lights behind you? Don't look like a Miami nightclub in a forensics. I'm, I'm not a forensics guy, but I can just tell you, you can't be that way. So, Mr. P, let's go ahead and fire away. What you got? Because you can't even read your damn right. Yeah, a good note about me, if you ever sit next to me to try to cheat off a test, you're not going to be able to do it. I'm going to do good on the test. You're going to have a little bit of trouble reading my handwriting. So, let's fire away, man. Well, what's, what's your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? Uh... Tombstone. Tombstone. It's a great movie. I can watch movie. that movie countless times and never grow tired of it, never get bored of it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I got you, I got and you. And I don't fucking cop out and be like, oh yeah, it's a series. Yeah, I'm not that guy. I have a movie that I like. Okay. Well, let's kind of backtrack a little, just a little bit. Let's get back a little more. So, what got you into the name Dr. Peeves? Dr. Peeves, well, in about 2013, I do believe, uh, a group of me and a bunch of friends, we were uh, kind of just starting to mess around with uh, Twitch. And I've had the nickname Peeves since I was 14, and we won't go into that story. Uh, but we were just all putting doctor in front of our name, so. That's where Dr. Peeps came from. So what is your name? Let's go find out there, man. Joseph Greer. So, what is your... What got you into movies, Peeps? What got me into movies? Uh, when I was about 12 or 13, I really got into the whole filmmaking process. And there for a little while, I was dumb enough to think that, hey, that could be what I wanted to do. Then I realized, you know, one in like... A bajillion people make it in the actual Hollywood, but I studied it, I looked into it, I started to love it, I loved the pace, I loved the flow, I loved the score, and that's really what brought me into movies was just learning about it, and that's what brought me into a lot of things, is learn, 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 as much knowledge as I can cram into this human brain of mine as possible that is useless and I will probably never actually need in real life, I will cram it in there. Well, that's what makes our styles completely different. You're more of, you studied a lot more about movies and, and things and, man, I just, I, I just talk about what I like, so that's what makes our, our styles so contrasting. So, and you guys kind of watching us, you'll get to see a little bit more about what makes me who I am and we get to see how he kind of judges movies and, and you'll get to see that different styles. <clears throat> and uh, the people that we bring on, you'll get to see that style change too. Because everybody's got a different opinion. Nobody ever said we were professionals. We just said we enjoyed movies, just like anybody else. Um, speaking of that, though, what was the first movie you remember seeing? Lion King. Lion King. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. Favorite Disney movie. That's my favorite Disney movie right there. Mine too. My daughter's favorite Disney movie. She likes it too. Um, Okay, so let's see what you got down here. It's hard writing that you got, so we're going to go with. <laughs> um, wow. First movie that scared you? Independence Day. Independence Day? Honestly, it was Independence Day. Uh, the scene where um, the president gets all like tentacled up, and the. No, it's not the president, it's uh, data from. Star Trek. Yeah, so I got you. It's all tentacled up and the aliens talking to him. That scared the bejesus out of me when I was a kid. I was like seven or eight when that movie came out, by the way. But Did you go see it on the first time? You know, you remember the first, I don't know if y'all remember this, like it was around like, it was like right on Independence Day. It, it was like 4th July. July. It July the 4th. Yeah, I thought it was on July 4th. I did too. We might have been sitting in the same theaters. So, you know, I was probably, you know, in my teens and you were sitting as a little child in there. It's crazy. Could have been in the same theater. First show for me. Um, so what was your favorite cartoon growing up? Scooby-Doo. And I have Scooby-Doo tattooed on my left calf. Really? I didn't notice. He's got a lot of tattoos. He's got a lot of tattoos. I don't know if you, I can show King, but yeah. Well, I'll be damned. You sure do. 
Yeah. Scooby Doo. Are you excited about the new one? They got a new movie coming out. Uh, it's, the, I, it's the origin of Scooby Doo. I really, that's one of the things that never needed an origin, and I would have been 100% fine with them never giving that movie or character an origin, and it just never needed to be. But we have to give everything an origin nowadays. I think so, man. A lot, a lot of fans want. They want to have that answer. They want to know. Fuck it. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it was fine the way it was. So you're not you're not wanting to look a little deeper into the story. It's, there's enough Scooby Doo stories out there that you don't have to have an origin. You just you, you know him and Shaggy, and that's it. And you know the gang, and you know how all of them even got together from a pup named Scooby Doo. Oh, please tell me you're not one of them fucking nerds that just it's just it's just up for interpretation. I like for it to be up for interpretation. Oh, I hate up for interpretation. I'm a, just tell me the damn thing. Just no, tell me. No. I don't, like, I don't like up for interpretation. Like somebody's just going to give me the answer. Like I don't have to be put in the ground. They stick me in a coffin. I'm like, you know, I don't really want to know what happened. I really just want to know what the hell happened. No. I want to, I want to guess. You want to guess? All right, let's move on. What, what got you into craft beer? What got me into craft beer? Uh... I lived in Florida for a little bit, and unlike Alabama, at the time, they did not have laws prohibiting the sale of alcohol by volume beers, and when you start crossing it, and you figure out that you can buy like 7-8% alcohol by volume beers to the same price that you can buy a six-pack of Budweiser, well, what are you going to go with? You're going to go with a stronger alcohol by volume. I didn't do it for the taste back then, I was partying, to be honest. But um, that's what got me into them. And then I started to develop the taste, and then Alabama got to where we could have them here, and loved them ever since. That's some good answers, man. I mean, it kind of gives you guys a little bit more about what we're, you know, what we're about. And I got to learn a lot more about you that I didn't know, so. Any other ones? Good, hey, man, there's some good questions on here. I mean. I think basically the only thing that I missed was your uh, the horror movies. What was your favorite horror movie? Uh, my favorite horror, horror genre of movie. Yeah, favorite genre of movie, and then there's the, you know, horror. horror. Yeah. And uh, what is your favorite genre of movie? Horror. And it'd be the thing, John Carpenter's, and then you have the second page over here. Did you? You got a second page. Yeah, nice. I went to the second page. Nice. We did, you didn't even show me the second page. Okay, so look, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. So, uh, favorite comic book character? John Constantine. And I don't really wish they would have done him justice in the movie, but they have done him justice in like TV shows and animated movies, which has made me pretty happy. What made you like Constantine, though? He was just always that badass that was one step ahead of everybody outwitting everybody from straight up literally Satan himself to God himself. He was outwitting you and that's what I liked about him. Cool. So what's uh, what's your favorite book? That was a big one. I didn't know. Uh, Atlas Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged. Give me a brief. And around uh, kind of dystopian future, a uh, bunch of rich people have left, uh, where is John Galt? You just kind of have to read the book. It's long, very long. Wow. It's the, I don't know if it still is, but at the time it was the number two selling book next to the Bible one for a while. Wow. Wow. That's huge, man. What's your favorite actor? Uh, hmm. Daniel Day Lewis, because he has never mm -hmm. done a bad movie. Good point. Good point. Never has. Never really has, man. Any particular movies you like his, though? Uh, there would be Blood, uh, Games of New York, Dude. Games of Wood Wall. But he don't do any movie. He don't do any movie anymore, though. Now, I think he may have officially retired. Uh, I'm not sure. You never know what people in Hollywood. He had such a small pop, but he was he just had... Uh, he was one of those people that get to pick their role. Oh, that guy was. He was a great guy. He's such a great He's actor. He's like, am I going to get an act? Oscar for this? Okay. I thought they couldn't top Gangs of New York, but there will be bloods. He, he, he topped it. He topped it. I but you really got to watch that movie basically about, like, it's, 
It's all him, though, for the most part. It is. It's, it is him it's carrying a whole him. movie. It's him carrying a whole movie. Yeah. I won't drink your milkshake. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show of all time. How you gonna get? How you gonna shoot these questions off? You only know you don't answer your own question. It's just everything that I can think of ends so badly. I would normally say Game of Thrones, but it ended so bad that it left like that taste of wanting to, you know, just uh, um, It's kind of like that, what did I say? Breaking Bad ended pretty badly. Breaking Bad ended really. The Shield. The Shield would be my favorite show. Oh, P.S. Piss on you. The Shield. Oh God. Oh God. I picked Sons of Manarchy because I wanted to be in a motorcycle game. <laughs> Can you go over here? Glorifying cop show. I don't know. I heard Shield was good. That's a lot of good people from the, the Shield that came to Sons of Manarchy. Well. The same right? I think. No. Uh, maybe. Didn't have something the same right? Probably. That'll be something for the comments. Something for the comments. Guys, um, you know, I guess we need to wrap this thing up. You get a little bit of insight on who we are. Um, that's why we want to kind of give you a few questions, let you get to see who we are. So going forward, you can kind of see a little bit more about where we get our opinions, where we get our views, where, you know, who we are as a person. And, and uh, like I said, you're going to see a lot more of our guests. They might not give you so much of a backstory, but you'll get to see uh, a lot more about them just by watching the channel. Uh, you got anything else? Just make sure uh, to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and never forget that we are your one-stop shop for entertainment. And with that, peace out.